all right pisces what up happy friday hope everybody is happy healthy safe and doing well into the smoke we release all energy that does not serve us all negativity that surrounds us and all fears that limit us so it is let's see what messages we got for the passing collective today is friday <laughs> uh august 16th 2024 oh we got three days till the full moon okay super blue moon I was looking at it last night and I was like, it was behind clouds, so I couldn't really tell. So, anyways, one of the brightest of the year. All right, so let's see what messages we got for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Arisen, Venus, North Node, and Jupiter. You guys got dark man dealing a relationship with a man of dark complexion or hair. You got oh, the gavel involvement with the law. Single cards only will be taken in my reading spirit. You already know how we roll. What else for Pisces, please? What are the messages? You got the gong, an exciting event. What else, please? Sorry if y'all can hear buns in the back background going to town. <laughs> mm. Bum buns. Quit being obnoxious. The forest, muddled or unclear thinking. What else, please, for Pisces? And you got the crown, honor and respect will come to you. You got the ink pot, problems to be resolved. So let's see what's going on. For some of you guys, uh, some of this may resonate, other parts may not. Take what fits, leave the rest. There's a lot of you guys here watching, so. Not everything is going to resonate with you every single time. Some of you too could also be feeling a little bit tired, fatigueish. Um, maybe you guys are needing a break or needing to rest or rejuvenate some type of way. Oh, what is up with these cards? Holy Spirit, let's see. Why is dark man here for Pisces? Some of you guys, this could be you. I could be speaking to you. Some of you guys could be dealing with someone with dark complexion or hair. Someone here may have a goatee or very distinct facial features. Maybe even someone that has long hair or ponytail. Does not have to be. Let's see. Why is dark man here for Pisces? Dark man. cards Ooh. Mm. okay so you got the emperor here aries energy you also got the world aquarius leo scorpio taurus there could be some type of unfinished business with someone but the seven of cups and the seven of swords being here um Either you don't trust somebody, if this is you, you could be this emperor. Um, hmm. Show me what the Seven of Swords is. Damn, what the f mm -mm -mm. Okay, y'all. So you guys, on the bottom of the deck, you got the Devil, the Eight of Swords, and the Magician. That is, like, not a good combination to be together, okay? Someone here could be doing some type of binding work. <laughs> I was literally, like, this morning 
literally thinking like I don't even know if I should say it, but um, how there's so much like negativity going around, especially in the tarot community, it seems like, and it's become redundant. So I always try to veer away and read, you know, I don't know. I just don't understand sometimes, I guess, but some people do have a lot of negativity going on around them. And then here it comes out in my reading, like what the fuck, okay. So this could be, uh, someone here could be trying to affect someone's, like some type of stagnation when it comes to someone's success. Definitely someone here could be creating some type of a facade, facade an illusion, okay? Someone may not want, um, yeah, because the world card in the reverse, that can talk about like stagnation, lack of success, um, unfinished business, not completing something or... Um, and then with the devil, the eight of swords and the magician, that's some type of like binding work or someone doing something controlling, manipulative, you know, all that bullshit. Um, and it could, someone could be trying to cause some type of stagnation or, you know, some type of chaos or destruction when it comes to some, some type of achievement, success, um, or somebody getting some type of praise or accolades or accomplishment or being seen or recognized in some type of way. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, and someone here could be definitely doing something shady, sneaky, causing some type of a facade or some type of an illusion surrounding maybe an emperor energy, this masculine, a divine masculine energy. Tell me about this emperor, please. That's crazy because he got involvement with the law here too. <sighs> I don't know what someone's doing here, but it does not look well. Show me the emperor. What's up with this person, please? Page of Swords. Give me one more. And the Chariot, Cancerian Energy. I don't know. Someone here could be going somewhere quickly or getting some type of information. Or someone here could be determined to like go after something, seek out some type of information. Um doing something very quickly seeking out something some type of information okay what's the seven of swords well the knight of cups What in the world is going on? What's the world in the reverse? It's almost like someone's... Someone's like back and forth on whether or not they want to give to a situation. There could be some type of... Um, Someone could be trying to create some type of an illusion surrounding a financial choice or a decision when it comes to some type of generosity. Um, Queen of Swords. I can't tell if like this dark man is doing something or someone's doing something to this man or this man is just straight up involved with something. Show me the world in the reverse, please. 
king of cups in the reverse, the moon in the reverse. I feel like someone doesn't know which choice or decision to make. And they're seeking some type of like information or clarity or someone here could have also been like lying to themselves about how they felt about a situation. There's some type of unfinished business here in a new beginning or a blessing here. I don't understand. I really don't. Unless I'm not supposed to, but whatever. Show me the gavel. Involvement with the law. So there could have been some type of information that came out that someone here is non-committal um, or someone here had divided loyalties, someone here is ungrounded or corrupt in some type of way. Someone here could be, I don't know, something may have to do with some type of extortion or corruption when it comes to finances or business. There's also something here surrounding a third party or choices or someone having options and some type of a third party. So I don't know if this is Herophon, if this is a married man, emperor energy a father, a husband of some sort. Mm. Oh. Okay, I see what's going on. Well, um, this looks to be like there could be a married man here. This person could be a player, all right? Could be a dark, dark haired man. This person may be at a distance, they may travel. Um, this person too could be looking like outside of a situation, but it's like they haven't closed something out. This could be someone who's emotionally manipulative in some type of way, or they're just deceitful or deceiving themselves in some type of way with the moon in the reverse. Ace of Cups, this person may have new love, maybe searching for new love or some shit like that, but they're creating some type of an illusion because they don't want to give to something or there's a lack of generosity. It's almost like someone here is trying to make a decision about this Queen of Swords energy. It could be an air sign Aquarius, they were Gemini, it doesn't have to be. But it also seems like someone's lying about like... This to me looks like someone here is like dating around, but they're, they're not, they're, they haven't closed out a cycle with like a wife or someone who, uh, you know. They're breadcrumbing somebody. They're juggling somebody. Someone here has a choice, like someone. Whoever whoever this is being done to like the wife or whoever the significant other the person in the partnership with this person i think they already know they know this could be someone who travels a lot or they you know It's almost like someone who's starting something new. You've got the King of Cups in the reverse, King of Pentacles in the reverse. It's like someone who's starting something new without closing out a, something else.
That's the five of wands in the reverse. Well, you guys see that? This is crazy. This is like someone who just like they don't they don't want to fight for something or they don't like it's like they want to start something new and move away and release something, but it's like they don't want to I feel like do what it takes to do that. Someone may regret some type of a choice or a decision here that was made as well. Yeah, Six of Swords. It came out anyway. That was the card that I just seen in Queen of Pentacles. It's like someone wants to move away from some type of a commitment or a connection and release something. What's the Five of Wands in the reverse? Someone may just want to like release this and like not fight for this and go towards something new what's the ace of wands that's just weird i mean i don't know not not my situation so i don't know show me the ace of wands please what is up with this choice and decisions and Feeling weighed down and burdened and stressed the fuck out and someone may have a stressful decision to make. It could be weighing heavy on someone. Someone's trying to release something, move away from something. What's this exciting event? Can we go there? <laughs> Can we go? What the hell? 17 minutes. Three of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, an exciting event. This could be some type of a work situation, a collaboration. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Uh, what do they call those? Someone could be going to like a um, seminar. Some type of a seminar. Someone here could be like happy that they're leaving. I don't know, y'all. Someone's like, hell yeah. Be careful for overindulging at whatever this event is. Or maybe that's where somebody met somebody and that's where someone's like, maybe someone is excited to go to something. Three of Cups in the reverse can talk about like, I don't know. Maybe someone's like excited to go to like some type of a work gathering. Maybe someone here has a lack of a social life or just someone's like, I don't know. Someone, I seen that four of cups and something else. Someone here could just be like bored and like seeking out. I don't know. I'm not judging anybody, but someone here could be like seeking out some type of like fun or like something in their life where it's like, I whoever this is maybe like fuck i can't wait to go to work <laughs> i cannot wait it's, it's almost like to get out of yeah that's what it looks like an exciting event nine of pentacles just showed itself it's like fuck can't wait to be alone i just rather be single doing my thing four of swords i almost feel like someone is like stressed out in some type of a home situation and it's like they've been lying to themselves about it's almost like someone i mean 
I'm not in this, so I don't, you know, I, I don't know people's behaviors or how y'all feel or whatever. But it's almost like someone's like, <sighs> it's like someone's not going through a divorce. It's like, I don't fucking want to be at home. I'd rather just like. You be over there. I'll be over here. I just can't wait to get away from you. I don't want to fight. I don't want to argue. The, like Something about something is like stressing someone out. And I feel like someone's like going about it. And I mean, that's your life, not mine. But uh, it's almost like someone doesn't want to face the music. It's like, okay, I know... both know we're not happy probably I know my husband's cheating but cheaper to keep her cheaper to keep him type energy shit I don't know if someone is going to like an exciting event and there is some type of overindulgence there because someone is feeling stressed and anxious like this could be like some type of like a work party or like a gathering or, you know, some type of a social event where someone's like, but I feel like it has something to do with like business or work or something to that nature. And someone's like, you know, maybe feeling some type of stress out at home or something. And so they just go and they just like wild out or something or, you know, this should be like a movie. Like, I feel like I can, like, this is like I'm watching a movie. Anyway, I don't know which one, but muddled or unclear thinking, please. That could be that feeling tired down or frustrated. Yeah, it's like someone's holding on to some type of an idea or a thought or someone's like withholding information, maybe even. Four of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Or someone's trying to be victorious over a situation, so they're holding on to something, or they're being greedy or possessive or something to that nature. Show me muddled or unclear thinking. Yeah, someone ain't thinking clearly. I don't know. I mean, people do this shit all the time, but ultimately it's like you guys are bringing each other down when sometimes, yeah, when you get yourself intertwined, and I've never been married, so I can't speak on like, I guess I may not understand to those of you guys who are in like a marriage or built whatever but i mean at the end of the day like you could spend the next 10 20 years being unhappy in a situation when i literally was just talking to someone about this recently yeah i'm not gonna go into it show me muddled or unclear thinking Muddled or unclear thinking. King of Wands, Empress, Four of Wands, and the Hangman. There you go, Pisces. Some of you could be interested in someone else, an Empress energy, but there could be an ex or like a wife or even just someone that... Someone's lying to this person, though. I don't know. Someone here could be attracted to like a baby mama. Or just an empress in general, someone who's very abundant, fruitful, loving, caring, nurturing, compassionate, harmonistic. <laughs> is that a word? I don't know. But muddled or unclear thinking. Someone here is like trying to gain, like trying to gain a, a, someone here could be having like a shift in perspective about family, stability, home, twin flame, whatever with this four of wands energy here. The Four of Wands, too, can talk about a home, a celebration, a reunion of some sort as well. Someone may be wanting to take action towards an Empress, but there's a Queen of Swords here. 
that I feel like someone's like breadcrumbing or I don't know if she's not being supportive or he's not being supportive of her. I don't know which way this goes, but I feel like there that's where the lies and the facade shit is. And it's like someone here is like doing something sneaky or behind someone's back and either proposing some type of longevity to one person or they're um, seeking out something while in a long term situation. I don't know. There's definitely some type of third party energy here and someone's feeling stressed out about making a choice or a decision. Maybe someone does want to resolve some type of conflict and move something towards calmer waters and have a passionate new start. But there's, again, there's still some type of a choice or something here. What's that two of swords in the reverse, spirit? I do feel like someone has gained like some type of clarity about something. Two of swords in reverse. Devil in the reverse, six of wands in the reverse. <sighs> someone here could be feeling haunted or may feel like someone here has ill intentions or Someone feels like they're at some type of a disadvantage when it, com when it comes to letting go of some type of an attachment. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, the two of swords, too, in the reverse. In the upright, that could be like a difficult choice or a decision. Feeling like you're at a crossroads, indecision, delays, setbacks. But if it's in the reverse and King of Pentacles in the reverse, it's like someone may even feel like they're going to lose some type of stability, security, uh, maybe even loyalty when it, when it comes to making this decision. And that's what's making some, something like, yeah, someone may feel like they're at a disadvantage or they're going to lose something. What is someone not thinking clearly about? Judgment. Oh, shit. Scorpio energy. As someone here feels, yeah, bad news surrounding earthly matters. It's like whatever cho whatever decision here with judgment being here, like final decision, it's like it's going to cause some type of like, someone may... Whatever, it has to do with physically starting something new. It's like someone feels... Page of Pentacles in the reverse, please. This could go so many ways. I almost feel like someone here feels like they're trying to make the best decision for themselves in the long run, as would anybody, right? But Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone too could also be evaluating a missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. I don't know. Honor and respect will come to you. Honor and respect. Someone feels like beat down from a third party or because of some type of heartbreak or third party situation. Nine of Wands. It's like someone here feels like something's been an ongoing battle and they're, someone feels drained, but it's like they're not giving up on something. That could be this yoke feeling tired, down, and frustrated. I just realized there's marriage underneath there and the bowl, plenty of material things. So this may have to do with like... 
you know, a marriage where there's like a lot invested or intertwined in something and someone, someone's, I feel like they feel exhausted by a situation. Like I said, the best, I should name this reading that it's cheaper to, cheaper to keep them. <laughs> okay. Show me the crown. Honor and respect will come to you. That's fucked up, but I don't know. No comment. Honor and respect will come to you. You know, the only thing you take with you when you die is the memories that you've shared and the memories that you've made and the joy and the love and the happiness. Like the only thing you take with you when you die, everything else is just material. You know, you can't put a price tag on your happiness. So fucking what if you lose everything, you know, I mean, I don't know. That's just my opinion. Y'all are free to have your own. I ain't telling anybody what to do or how to feel or that you've worked so hard to get a certain thing and you don't want to, you know, I get it, but I don't get it at the same time. Okay. Show me crown. I don't know. <laughs> Four swords in the hair font. Again, it's like that feeling tired down or feeling frustrated or feeling like uh, mentally overwhelmed by some type of a commitment or a marriage of some sort. Why is honor? Why is the crown here? With the ink pot being here, I like that because that talks about problems to be resolved. So, four cups in the justice card. Yeah, someone here could regret some type of legal binding contract or something may be stagnated because of legalities or because of cause and effect or because of something being fair. Or someone may feel like uh, four of cups, like um, they're not getting something. Is it this like someone here could be feeling discontent with some type of a legal decision as well? Show me the crown. Well, we're talking about Ace of Pentacles. So there will be some type of a new fight and a new opportunity, a new financial opportunity. Someone here may need to surrender. The Five of Swords. Someone here may need to surrender. Surrender. Someone could be trying to win at all costs when it comes to some type of, a, you know, opportunity here. That could be what someone is seeking out or someone's trying to get some type of information to make a decision, to make a judgment call. Yeah, someone's seeking information, honor and respect will come to you. I don't know who it's going to, but you know, you guys use discernment in your own situation. But uh, yeah. And there goes temperance in the hair font. Wow, so there's like angelic protection. I mean, Honor and respect will come to you. This can also do, also too, be some type of a di like a, a divine spiritual connection that someone may be um, starting to see, and maybe wanting to resurrect or have some type of a second chance when it comes to that Empress Emperor energy. But then there's like something going on that's deceptive, or someone here could have been under an illusion, a spell. That could be going back to the beginning of this reading, like when I seen that devil magician, eight of swords, like someone could have even done. Hmm. Someone could have paid some, oh Lordy. Someone here could have paid a practitioner Hmm, that's whack. If that is what I... All right, whatever. So there could be some type of a divine connection here between an emperor and an empress, okay? Um, someone could have even sabotaged something for an opportunity or someone did something up underhanded or even offered some type of like golden opportunity or I don't know what someone did. Someone did something here. And with this whole situation over here, I don't know if someone paid a practitioner so that they would get chosen. Okay, fucking desperate bitches. All right. Hmm. Huh. 
That would be like somebody causing a missed opportunity for someone. Could have been out of jealousy. Maybe somebody like hated how another person respected someone. Does that make sense? This could even be like a baby mama, baby daddy situation or a husband and wife. And there could have been someone that came in the middle, did some type of fucking hooju, vuju, juju, and so that they could get chosen. And that's why something here is an illusion. That's why something here is a facade. Someone did something deceptive for either like some type of a proposal or some shit. And now I feel like someone's starting to see the truth of a situation or starting to see a divine connection and maybe wanting to resurrect something, but they're going to have to surrender something or admit defeat in some type of way. Yeah, problems to be resolved. I'm done with this reading. I came into this with optimism, damn it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to... Problems to be resolved, please. <laughs> okay. What problems are going to be resolved? Yeah, the, the fucking conflict. Okay, so whatever conflict there is here, someone's going to have to like hash it out in order to resolve this because over here it looks like someone's trying to avoid it. Or there could the solution could be to, you know, I don't know, six of wands. Yeah, there's going to be a victory over some type of conflict here. Something here is going to get resolved in the long run, but I don't know what it is. What's going to be resolved, Spirit? What is going to be resolved? Yeah. For all of you guys, this could mean different things. You know, the, the lovers, a connection, a spiritual connection, harmony, okay, kindred spirits, relationships. Uh, perfect union, shared values, whatever. Seven of Wands. Oh, that was two cards. So the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is seizing an opportunity. Okay, so seizing, going towards, moving forward with whatever this is or somebody having clarity of thought of mind and wanting to see some type of an opportunity here or sees go after this connection you know blocking out illusions the moon standing up and defending something someone may not like something here may have been hidden or not quite clear but i do feel like someone's like standing up and fighting back empress so queen of cups Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra. <sighs> Someone here could be defending this, this Empress energy. Someone here cast an illusion over a connection. That's what that is. Someone here casted an illusion over a divine union connection. It was a third party. Somehow, some way... I think that this person knows it. Someone knows it. Tell me about this Queen of Swords energy down here, Spirit. Tell me about this Queen of Swords energy. It does not have to be an air sign, but this is whoever could be like the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, they feel fucking butthurt because they're feeling financially left out in the cold or they're just feeling abandoned in some type of way. The world card is here, so they're feeling left out in the cold from some type of success or the four of pentacles in the reverse because their ass is being fucking released. I'm so sorry, but queen of wands in the reverse. They're jealous as fuck over a fucking family. Amer like they're jealous. They're angry. They're fucking mad. Whatever. This could be someone who's pushy, demanding, self-righteous. They're upset because they're getting released and they're getting left out in the cold. And there's a cycle here that's coming to a completion or, or something to that nature. This part, I knew, I felt something from that. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, God. All right, Pisces. Whatever. 
If you guys want a personal reading, you guys know what to do. Info's down below. All right, let's get three cards. So you got concern, number 33, could be significant. You got mature woman. And you got community, 39, 6, could be significant. 333, there is some type of, something's moving forward. Someone here could also be concerned about how they'll be viewed in the community, like within the community in some type of way. Official person and gift. 22, 17. Oh. Main male in poverty, message of concern, courtship. You know, whoever this main male is, he may take a financial hit. And that's kind of what I was seeing over here. Like this person could have been like, um, I don't know if this person had some type of status, has some type of status. That could be why this woman either went after this man. But I feel like this man is going to take some type of a financial hit. Poverty, main male here. Message of concern. But I feel like he's, you know, someone's going to high honor courtship, child. So someone here may be courting someone or tried, was courting someone of high honor. But I feel like someone's going to re receive a message of concern. This feminine's going to receive this message of concern and be like, oh. give me one on this mature woman, please. Or two. The Empress. I knew it. I'm so glad. Look at that. I was like, I feel like this mature woman here is that, you know, that Empress energy to the Emperor. That's crazy. And that other feminine energy is that Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands in the river. Someone who's jealous and not very nice. Yeah, someone here feels like they missed an opportunity with a divine feminine. It's this King of Wands energy. <laughs> That's funny. Look at this. This King of Wands right here with this Empress. Same thing again. Feels like they missed an opportunity with this empress okay so this man may be taken down a notch y'all there's a lot of attraction a lot of chemistry that this person has for this person i don't know if this is you the king of wands pisces or you are this empress because you have the hangman here in the four of wands it's like someone here wasn't seeing a connection but someone's having a shift in perspective about family home unity twin flame whatever some type of connection or someone here is feeling like battered and bruised feeling tired down or frustrated whatever they got whatever they're committed to okay i'm gonna leave this reading here pisces i love you guys put yourself where you fit if you don't fit let it go i love you guys and i'll see you in the next one peace